Vou lá. Hello. Uh, in this video, I show you how to set up and play Metal Gear Online using the easiest setup on on a real PS2. You need a console that is able to run homebrew software that allows you to run .l files. You need a PS2 Slim or a Fat PS2 with network adapter, an USB storage device at least. It, it needs to have 5 gigs or more and formatted as FAT32 open PS2 loader files in the description uh, you put the links for them on PS2 you need to set a custom primary DNS server so to start you need to you have your your USB storage device formatted as FAT32 on Windows 10 you can go in my computer right click and select format but using the built-in windows 10 2 it owns allow you to format up to six, 64 gigabytes i guess so you if you have a larger than uh, usb storage you need to use uh, this tool right here it's called GIF format once you do download it you go to your downloads folder it will be here you you open it you click yes you waiting for it, it for it to load uh, it's taking a bit of time now you select the, the right letter of your USB uh, storage Make sure you don't make mistakes. This this you put on the high highest to have more performance on PS2. The label you you set anything you want. You click start and wait for the process to complete. I not do this here because I already have my SFAT32. So after you downloaded the files that are in the description. It be this file here. Uh, one second. Here, this file here. I put two, two versions for this file. One for if you have a flat TV, you want to use widescreen, and the normal one that is if you want to play on four by three aspect radio, or if you are playing on CRT TV. So. Once you download this this file, you have to copy it for to your USB storage device. Mine is this one. You have to create a folder named chd, and you have to copy and paste this file here. <clears throat> once that's once that's complete, you need to put mg. S3 ISO that you downloaded in this folder named DVD. You have to shrink down the name because it only accepts up to 64 characters, so you can remove the Metal Gear Solid 3 and put just MG S3. It needs to have the maximum length of 64 characters on the, on the on the name of the file. Once you complete that, you you have to you, you must know how to run OPL. You must know about OPL, how to to run it through Unlash Elf, Free MK Boot, or Free HD Boot. So next. Thing, I will move to my PS2 to do the rest of the tutorial there. So now that you're, you're, you, we are on the PS2, we need to do a few things on OPL. We need to set this mode to auto and then you click block devices and you set USB as on if you already have not 
this two you, you, you set this as off you click then save changes your, your, uh, the game should appear this on USB games list so a few settings useful for you to do you if you want to boot directly to the Metal Gear Line menu you can set this as custom custom elf it will boot directly into MG, MG1 MG01 uh, menu it, you will speed things up now you go to the settings set, uh, the shitty settings you have you can select per game and PS2 RD ship engine you, you set as on you click OK and click save save changes now we will boot MG O with clicking X it will take a, a, a bit of time to boot because this is USB and USB on PS2 is a bit slow but it's not that very long <coughs> It's putting up. Okay, we are on the menu. If you never play any Geo 1, you never get that prompt because you don't have the save on the memory card. So, when you get in this menu, you go to play using the, the tailored settings, you go to network settings, and you click edit your network configuration file. It will boot another application. Here, then you go to edit setting, settings. I can't add, add any more because I have a right four. It almost allows you to create four settings for per memory card. Yep, I can. I would like one to for the purpose of this tutorial. No, no, not here. Go to the light. Oops, damn it. The light settings setting. I would like one to create one. So you can choose either slot one or two. I will select slot two. Here, select this. Not required. This I suggest you use a manual IP. So you can put the PS2 on DMZ, so we can have no difficult host, hosting games on Metal Gear 1 because you need to port forward sometimes, most people need. I set my PS Final 21, Net mask I put this, this is my router. Oops, no, oh, I missed it, the last digit, now there. Here you have to put the, the DNS server you want to use. I suggest you to use the Christian DNS server. It, do, it works, works not only with Metal Gear, but on a lot of, of PS2 games. You can use saving image one too, if you want.
there. You don't need to set anything on the secondary DNS because it's never used. I don't know why this option is there. So we're going to start the uh, test the connection. It, it was su successful. And it will, it will allow you to set a name for it and save. I put save uh, I test online. The name because this DNS uh, setting allow you, you to play multiple games on PS2. Uh, PS2 online. Damn it. There. Now I have to press enter here. Press circle to save. Press circle to confirm. Now I have to quit to MG1. You can do this by pressing X, then hit hitting quit with the circle button which will take a, a little time to load again Metal Gear Online 1 menu it's not the, the worst thing on on earth so there okay we're back again at the menu of the Metal Gear Online. Again, you now you not have the the prompt to load the game settings on the first time. If you're playing for the first time, you can start here, but. I am not, so I will. I don't know. I think I, I don't. I can create any more accounts on the, on this PS2, so I will connect using that detailed settings. You can also configure these settings here. You, nowadays, you can put this uh, the highest. In the port, you you can set this as default. Most of the for most people. This the the auto router setting will work as on, and you not even need to port forward to create games. You click OK after you adjust it, the settings as you desire. Then you connect, select connect to network. You agree to the terms. Now you have to select the settings, the network settings you just created for playing online. It was this one. You select yes to connect. It's checking EDP port. Sometimes it, it gives an error, but it lets you proceed. It's about a network environment that you need to put forward. I didn't get the error. error. If you get the error, you still can play, but can't create rooms. You select agree. You choose account from from the list. You can, if you want to to create a new account, you select where it says new account, or I have account on slot one and three. I select new account on slot two for the proposal proposals of this video. I set uh, account ID. I put tuto twenty one. Password with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, you have to confirm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you want to save the settings to uh, the, the password and the account on your memory card, you, you can set this as save. This is your, your player name. It cannot be the same as account ID. So you can put something like that, like this. Tuto. <clears throat> Under score 21, you click OK. 
the, the account to be created select yes account account was created now it's connecting to the the server <clears throat> now we can save the settings the next time we, if you save the settings the next time you boot mg1 you have the prompt to load the game settings you can either save on slot 1 or 2 I will pick slot 2 <clears throat> you have two lobbies you can only connect to the the snake, this one doesn't work for normal players. Again, if you have the UDP error I said before, uh, this option create game will be grayed out, but you can still join games. So there is nobody playing right now, but there is usually a rune uh, at night with six or more players daily I will create uh, a game here you can put password and comments here select the rule I put uh, capture no no I'll put rescue at the most iconic map I think it is, is this one host only if you want to just host and not play, be a dedicated server unique characters, if you want to play as Asso, Ocelot uh, the other guy, Raykov and I don't remember the old guy names uh, it's... I don't remember you have blah 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 you can figure it out, that out for yourself then you hit yes Then you are in the game. You can play. People can join your game if you if you're able to create one. And that's it. Hope we can find and and play together on online. Thanks for watching and Good game.